super pook, the best woman commentator. Hello, my name is Super Pook, and I still have no friends. Oh, that was pathetic. I'm going to show you how to use theatre mode in Black Ops 2. In particular, creating a highlight reel. You can hear, see here I am selecting a film. They've handily uh, separated it out into recent games and recent victories. Obviously, if you have a host migration, you might have half in recent half in recent victories and half in recent games, so bear that in mind. Okay, when you choose to create a highlight reel, you then bring up the options for customising your highlight reel. You can set the players to just you or to you and your friends. You can filter out vehicle kills randomly, gun uh, kills, melee kills, explosive kills, or just best moments. The maximum number of clips you can have is 20. You can filter out um, by the star rating it assigns, but frankly all of my clips are 5 stars, so screw you Black Ops 2. Transition type, you can choose between cut, fade, random. Uh, match outcome, final result, I've chosen here. What I should have chosen was final result with events and kills, because that will show you the, um, the full table with captures and, and kills and scores and so on, but... I didn't figure that out at the time. Because I'm a doofus. No. Okay, so what I will do, first of all, is I will show you what it looks like before you edit it in whatever editing program you use. And then I will I've, I will show you how I've kind of edited some of the transitions to make it a little bit nicer. Um, so you can just refine it. Look at this, I've been playing too much Halo. Watch me jump. Fine. That was a point, such a pointless, entirely needless jump. Yeah, I'm being shot, so I jump! <laughs> I actually was shouting boing at the time as well, to make it extra lame. Okay, so what it's picking up here is it's picking up all of um, mine and my friend's uh, kills and kill streaks and highlights of the game, like melee kills, things like that and captures if you're in an objective game, so events, as they would call it. I love this idea of picking up on yours. Look at this. Really lovely. It picks up the third person, person being blown up. Styly event. You can see it's picked up a friend now, has moved on to Booga, who was just beginning to try out sniping in Black Ops 2. Um, like me, he's not a sniping pro, so it's really nice that it's picked up his highlights and put them in the game. You can see as it tr as it moves between um, the different clips between you and your friends. It, you can see how it speeds up there in that little bit as it moves on to Sergeant Day with his awesome crossbow and knife skills. And it can look a little bit messy. So what I start to do now is I cut out those sped up bits in my editing program and just fade between the clips instead, so we don't have that those kind of messy edges. I really like this option of uh, picking up your highlights of the game and your friend's highlights of the game as well because uh, you're never going to have a game where you're constantly running and gunning if you're playing sensibly. There's going to be moments where you're protecting your own score streaks. I think this is Monty again now. Yeah, this is Monty. Monty IB. Monty the intergalactic bitch with his ridiculous sniping skills. Um, I think Monty might be part robot. So, yes, I, for this kind of reason, you, you're never going to have a game where you're constantly running and gunning and being really exciting and capturing all the objectives. Sometimes, if you're playing for your team, you're going to need to go and protect your score streak. If there's, like, four of the enemy coming, you're going to have to sit around a corner, reload, hope your teammates come out from the other angle and pick a couple of them off so that you can get the other two and protect your score streaks for the team. Uh, so that's that's the the kind of benefit of this mode. It picks up on all of your your friends' excitement while you're running around on sitting in a corner and crying to yourself and, and rocking and saying, "Please, I don't want to lose my health, dumb misère." Then it will pick up on your friends who are, you know, cheesing around the map and and quick scoping and generally winding the enemy up. It's fantastic. Hello, mid-flight riot. Boom goes the man. You can see, one of the problems I've found so far is with kills like crossbow kills. Look, like here's mid-flight riot going on stabby three. Um, is it's not always 
a clear kind of angle when it's picking up on the, the crossbow kills. So with those, you're probably going to want to pick them out and edit them yourself, unfortunately. It's not great. There was one clip where Sarge killed, Sergeant J killed someone with um, a crossbow, and the angle it showed was actually of the flag. That's all you could see that squirrel, that, that, that filled the screen was, was the, uh, the flag that he killed the bloke nearby. It was, it was entirely pointless. I'll give you a demonstration of one of those rubbish clips at the end where it, it, it was a great crossbow kill, but it didn't pick up on it. So what I've chosen to do is remove it at the end. Now what Monty did here was he, uh, he kind of pinned the enemy in at A, and it drove him a bit mental. But you can see, under the old system, I would have had to hunt out Monty's best moments to put them in to kind of liven up my video. With this new system, it picks them out for me and it, it allows me to really easily see how awesome the awesome squad are. Because Monty and um, Midflight Riot and Booga are all members of the awesome squad. So as a clan leader it's it's really, really bloody handy for me when I'm making videos with all my clan mates in because I can easily include all of their awesomeness as well as my slightly above average mediocrity. It's great. Now here you see the crossbow kill which looks absolutely rubbish from the angle that it chose to show it from. So what I what you do is you get the timeline editor at the end and you can select the clips, preview it to make sure you've got the right clip. If we have another look at that, you can't really see what's going on, it's not great. Is I can then select that clip and just delete it. And then if I want to I can go back to the full film, find that clip and put it back in at the end. For the purposes of this video I haven't bothered. Sorry Sarge. <laughs> At that point there was a host migration, so this is the, the just the end of that game. Again, I'll go through customising a highlight reel just to remind you how it works. You can choose the players, um, filter out exactly what you want, set the mount, match outcome, and then uh, kick it off. This one starts off with an awesome melee spree from Sergeant J, which must have wound the enemy up no end. Look at him go. <laughs> Brilliant. He was suffering from the lag slightly there, wasn't he? And he still managed to get all those in. And then some lovely Hellstorm and Lightning Strike cover. I love um, Hellstorm and Lightning Strike in Domination because it really helps you um, tie down the objectives. So there you go, it shows the end of the game and the score limit, but what it hasn't shown me is um, everyone's individual score. So now if I choose the Codcast film option, I'll show you what that looks like. So I've just chosen Codcast Film, and this is just for that little end bit, so it will show you just from my perspective for this, for the purposes of this little bit, just quickly. You can see at the top it's got the scores for both sides, it's got which flags are being held by which team, and if I press the start button at any point it will bring up the full score table for me, which is fantastic. You don't just have to have it at the end, you can press it and bring it up whenever you want it can see what's going on. You can see the soldier zipping about there with the lag, poor fella. You can see it's giving me the time very clearly of how much time is left in the game, exactly what the score is on both sides, so you can see it's just about to come to an end and we are just about to have uh, completely wiped the steam all over this aircraft carrier and jumped up and down on their little helmety heads. Um, and then again I can bring up the final score at the end show everyone the individual scores. So that's it. Obviously you could then save that if you wanted to um, as I recorded it on the PVR. I didn't need to. I hope that was useful. I realise it's a little bit rambly. Um, but yeah, give it a try. You can either use it as a template to create something a little more awesome and involved or you can just use that for basic highlights if you've got a really good match and you just want to share it. Chat. But um, yeah, seriously, leap in, give it a go. It was pretty awesome stuff. Bye.